Good morning, folks. Children in some parts of Greece are waking up without having to go to school today. Most structures near the location of the 6.1 magnitude earthquake that struck there yesterday are being checked for structural stability. There have literally been dozens of aftershocks even continuing still, some topping the 5 magnitude line. A line from Burma, east across Indonesia and back down across the subduction zone there was active, along with Easter Island off the coast of South America. Top news is infuriating. Remember that Ding Dong who went to Antarctica to prove global warming but got himself and his crew stuck in the ice along with everyone who went to rescue them? They're giving him an award. I vote for a tag team rumble, me and Steven Goddard versus that clown and Maurice Strong. Anyway, another infuriating thing is oil spills. This is claimed to be minor, but tell that to the fish they probably killed. And oh boy, that weather cell was not messing around, was it? Northern Europe, UK, Ireland, you're on weather share request today please. It's always best to get the news straight from those who lived it. Couple tropic watches on deck. Madagascar again in that same stuck position. And another northeast of Australia. It's currently being fed by a high between Australia and New Zealand. And it's a top watch for strengthening this week. Pacific low is still stuck but shifting slightly east. Able to put the Canadian and US west coasts under fire. The eastern states and well up into central and eastern Canada are seeing a lot of snow followed by frigid cold, 7 inches here and temps going below zero. Let's look at our current conditions. In last night's news, we saw an eruption heading off the backside in 304 angstroms. Stereo B confirmed a significant solar flare and filament release CME. Well, this morning, those groups are indeed turning into face Earth. We got our M flare as expected, just not from those departing groups. The incomers popped, and the CME will indeed miss Earth by a ways. Looking at the spots, the departing group remains an eruption threat, but the geo-effective aspect switches to polar radiation potential rather than an Earth-directed CME with our connections so close to that group. Incomers can't yet be diagnosed, but we don't really need to. This is the return of the active region 1944. The beast from a few weeks ago is returning from his visit to the backside of the sun. It's got a friend up north as well. One week of solar wind shows the coronal hole stream, followed by two ACE data dropouts. Let's see what other ways we can back up missing data. Well, SOHO measures the solar wind too, and it shows space weather calm at that time. The KP index is a measure of geomagnetic instability, and we see none here or on the electron flux which didn't have that second data drop. Smooth sailing right now. A clear ledge to the coronal fields is the backstop of a thin line of positive coronal holes arching across the north earth-facing disk. But on the south, somewhat blocked, it's the return of the negative coronal hole system, and not long after that, the major opening heads in to face us once more. Coronal holes appear darker than the surrounding solar surface in 211 angstroms and a few others. Can't yet see the southern incomers as we've got active regions and pretty big plasma filament dancing in our way. Let's hope she stays stable for a few days. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.